What's up, everybody? This is your boy Earl Bynum, and you're on stage with Earl Bynum live at the Mount. And we are backstage. And who am I with? Sunday's best first. Hey, you can't erase that. <laughs> she created something in the earth that can never be erased. She is the first winner of Sunday Best, Crystal Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be here. Why am I excited? Because 14 years ago, wow. you did my birthday concert as the first winner of Sunday Best. Wow. 14 years later, Why are you dating you're now my on age? my first show here <laughs> on stage with Earl Biden Live. Wow. So th that means historical moments, right? Historical That's what moments. we've been doing together. Isn't That's that awesome. awesome. It is wonderful. Wow. So what's yeah. going on in the life of Crystal Aiken? Woo! In the life of Crystal, you know, I've been traveling, just got off a tour, um, doing new music, as we're going to hear tonight. Okay. And um, and so, you know, looking forward to doing new music. And so I'm excited about that. We talked about that. Yes. Um, and getting ready to do an album. And so I don't know what am I supposed to talk about? Do uh, labels? Come and all on, of that stuff? Whatever you want to talk <laughs> so, about. So, yeah. So Monarch is my group. And I'm so excited about that. They are okay. a great musical family. Okay. Um, and so I'm looking forward to doing some amazing things with them. Uh, life is good right now. I'm in a great space. The joy of the Lord has really become my strength. I really have to say that, you know, in the music industry, it's so easy to lose it. Yeah. And yeah. so I found it again. And so I'm really excited that I have it while doing this next stage wow. and phase of my life. Now, I can't imagine what the new music is like because your first record, uh, I still love. Do you? Your second record, I still love. Do you? So, I mean, you you have music out there yeah. that's already good. So, what can we now expect from Crystal? Evolution, I would say. Um, you know, I feel like the first album definitely was the inception and the introduction to who Crystal was, eclectic, uh, right off of a win. And so, it kind of had all these different variations in sound, right? And then the next album came and there was some maturation, got chance to write songs okay. but this next album I'm really hoping that people get to hear my heart okay. and so I'm really looking forward to them to know my heart but not only that to really get an idea of what my sound is ah. and so I think that's something that has grown over time so that's okay. what I'm really looking forward to this next now album. now we saw that you were in was it a movie or a TV a show or something with you were Kim on stage? Yeah. 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 Well, no, 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 no. You were in another one. You were out California somewhere. Yeah, that was with Kev on stage. Oh, yes, that was it was amazing. his. No, that with his TV How show. How was that? Um, it was great. You know, we grew up together okay. in Washington, and so it was phenomenal. There's amazing Lexi. There was amazing people on that cast. Right. Um. But I think you're going to look forward to hearing some, seeing some great stuff. Kev on stage put an amazing show together called Churchy. And uh, to be a part of that was just a privilege. You know what oh. I mean? Um, and it's great to be able to work with people that you grew up with. Yeah. That still say, hey, you're talented. I'm gifted, whatever. And we can come together. Wow. And we love each other. And we honor each other for our gifts. Okay. Now, a Seattle girl. I am, Well, Tacoma. Tacoma, uh -huh. Let me be clear. Washington. Tacoma, 30 minutes south okay. of. <laughs> <laughs> that is now where? It, where am I now? Yeah. I am in Birmingham, okay. Alabama. How is that? Woo! The South. Let's just talk about No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, it's great. Okay. I feel like I know that God, first of all, led me there. I didn't know why. Okay. Um, I've been there almost three years. I got there right at the top of COVID. And, uh, but to see where God has taken me, I don't believe I'd be where I am today had I still wow. been in Dallas. Okay. And so I left Dallas um, by way of the Lord. And so, um, but I'm seeing doors open being that I was obedient. Wow. And so I encourage people, listen, God moves in such oddly and mysterious ways that sometimes you, you need to not look for it to think that it's going to come in your pastor or it's going to come in your parents or it's going to come by way of what you think you know. Mm -hmm. It was Bishop Ellis that told me that that I needed to be in Birmingham, and here I am. But now things have even changed along my journey. But then doors are opening because of my, you know, following this odd plan of God and just listening to His voice. So I'm excited where I am. So Birmingham is a great place. All right, all right. Well, listen, you heard it first right here from the one and only Crystal Aiken backstage. And remember, can't nobody beat you being you. So be the best you that you can be. Welcome, welcome, welcome to On Stage with Earl Bynum, live at the Mount. woo -hoo! Listen, I'm so excited that you're here. We have a great show for you. I'm so excited about this. Listen, I have an artist for you tonight, and I'm excited about her because I remember watching her years ago on a show called Sunday's Best. Y'all remember Sunday's Best? Listen, she was the first winner of season 
one. It can never be erased. She's the first. Come on, come on. She's the first. So put your hands together for the one and only Crystal Aiken. Listen, it's a new one I got. It's a box. Can you rock with me right here? Come on. Your right. Your left. Come on. Your right. Your left. Come on. Come on, that city says trouble don't last. Trouble don't last. Trouble don't last long. You got it. Trouble don't last. Trouble don't last. Why? Because all things work together.
That's good news right there. Huh? Y'all sound mighty good tonight. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord on this evening? Listen, and my God can handle it. Whatever you're going through, he's the problem solver. Come on, can you put your hands together? It's a call and response. So when I ask the question, I'm asking that you say the name Jesus, because he's the one that can handle it. Come on, let's sing it up together. Who is the greatest power? Say Jesus. Everybody come. Jesus. Yes. Who is the greatest power? Of the call. You got it. Who is the greatest power? Send it. Jesus. You got it. Who is the greatest power? What's his name? Jesus. Come on, let's go. Oh. He is the greatest power. We say, who is a great defender? Say, Jesus. I want to know. Jesus. You got it. Who is a great defender? Holy name. Jesus. I want to know. Jesus. You got it. Who is a great defender? Jesus. Hey, who is a great defender? Holy name. Jesus. Come on, let's go. Yeah. 
What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Earl Bynum, and we're so glad that you're watching us live for On Stage with Earl Bynum, live at the Mount. I'm excited because I have two wonderful people with me, Set Apart and Chosen and New Music Monday's Ooh. founders, Valika B and Montre Tisdale. Take it away, y'all. Trey, 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 are you excited about this show on tonight? I'm super excited. But I'll say, look, we done made it. Mama, we made it. We on, on stage with Earl Bynum. <laughs> right, exactly. And a little birdie told me we have a special guest on tonight. Yep. You know we got a special guest tonight. This is New Artist Spotlight, where we bring the greatest independent artists, the greatest new artists across the country, right here on stage with Earl Bynum. New Artist Spotlight. Tonight's special guest, we're excited about this, Kateri Bloomberg. I can't wait. What's going on, girl? Hey, everybody. <laughs> you are amazing. We watch you on television. The four, we have watched your YouTube videos. You have swept the country by storm. And you are representing my generation in the greatest and utmost way. You are killing the game right now. How do you feel? Thank you. I feel good. I, I feel like God is really blowing my mind um, in this season. And it's just amazing to see where I've come from when I was singing um you know as a little girl to now i'm 28 yeah. so it's like whoa wow i'm just excited for you know what's to come absolutely it's, it's totally different to be on facebook and also on a tv show how did it feel to be part of season two to four you know what i get that i, I get that question a lot i feel like to me it was no different because i never changed and i feel like when you know who you are, it's so easy to flow in those circles because um, the foundation is key. Yes. Um, a lot of times people go into shows not knowing who they are. So it's so easy for people to change your um, mentality, your spirit, your heart, um, and your mindset concerning your career. So when I was coming on live on Facebook, I already knew who I was. Awesome. And it wasn't an arrogance. It was just I knew the gift I had. So when I went on the floor, it was like, okay, well, I got a huge opportunity to display the gift that I already knew I had. And it just was a great transition. Um, and the exposure that I received, it was just unbelievable. Awesome. Go wow. ahead, Absolutely amazing. Listen, so what advice could you give another artist or upcoming singer that is wanting to potentially audition to get on the show, The Voice? Um, the the four American Idol Sunday's best. What advice could you give them? Could you blaze the chart? Um, I would say know your why. Um, yeah. That's major because a lot of times we get on shows um, with the expectation of um, you know blowing up. Mm -hmm. um, that's not a guarantee mm -hmm. because you don't know if you're even going to make the show. Um, it's so many different rounds. Um, that you have to go through. So I would say know your reason, your reason, and know why you're doing it. Because uh -huh. I knew my why was um, an opportunity to show or you know display my gift to the world. But a lot of times we get on shows and we you know we we have this high expectation, and then when it doesn't get met, then our feelings are hurt, and then now we're in a place of giving up. Yeah. And so when you know your why, it makes life much easier and it makes decisions much easier um, for you to not have certain expectations because it's life. People are going to let you down. They're going to tell you no, and they may tell you yes. So you need to know what your why is and be confident in your gift. If you're unsure, those shows are not for you because they're going to throw things at you that is either going to ruffle your feathers, it's going to test your personality, and it's mm -hmm. going to test your character. So if you don't know who you are, why you're doing the things you do, then maybe those shows are really not a good fit for you. So as long as you know your why, who you are, and what your gift is capable of, then you should be good. Awesome. All right. So as we wrap the show, could you sing us anything? Oh, I sure can. Um, let me do this one. <clears throat> How great is our God?
Sing with me how great is our God. And I will see how great, how great is our God. Yes, ma'am. How great <laughs> is our God. Sing with me how great is our God and I will see how great, how great it is, is our God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable, she is killing the game. Tell you, the girl is the bomb.com. Kateri Bluford, y'all go follow her, connect with her. We love you so much. Thank you for love coming you to come on stage with Earl Bynum, new artist spotlight. Tonight's new artist spotlight was the one and only Kateri Bluford. Wow. Love you guys. Love you. You heard too. it right here first. Continue to keep it locked where it's hot. You're on stage with Earl Bynum live at the mouth. You're on stage with Earl Bynum live here at the Mount. Listen, how many like quartet music? Yeah. So put your hands together for Maurice Yancey and one accord. Y'all come on, put them hands together. Let's have a good time in this room. Whatever. you need Lord, Lord, what
of the Lord. Anybody believe that in this room that whatever you want from God is right here in the house. Look at your neighbor and tell him say, if you can't say a word tonight you ought to wave your hand. Come on, come on, find you another neighbor and say if you can't say nothing tonight you ought to be able to give God a wave offering in this room. I know we in the city tonight but there's a there's an old song they used to sing down in the country when folk get in the room and get a little stiff like some of y'all tonight. They would say, if I could say a word, I'll wave my hand. I'll wave my hand. If I could say a word. Let's have a little church. Come on. Anybody know what the highest praise is? Anybody know what the highest praise is? Well, come on. Let's have give God some praise in this room. Come on. Yeah. Everybody clap your hands. Thank you. 
Josh, you take that side. Brandon, you take that side. We ain't got long to do it. But if you sick and tired of that devil messing with you tonight, I want you to put him up under your feet and help us stop on him. Come on here. Stop on the devil. Stop on the devil. tonight that God can take your burdens away whatever it is you're experiencing tonight if you turn it on over to Jesus I am a living witness he has the power to take your burdens away song says I remember when God took my burden away had me bound so long Both night and day I saw the Lord Took him at his word I began To hunger and thirst Like you never heard And oh He took them all away. He took, thank you, Jesus, my burdens away. All away. He took them all away. He took my burdens away. He took them all away. All the way, all the way. Said he took my burdens, my burdens away. I had a whole lot of them, but all the way. Oh, all the way. Every load I was carrying, my God took my burdens. Nights I cried myself to sleep Couldn't find no relief But I read in my Bible Weeping may endure for a night But, but joy come in the morning And sometimes Feel like I'm walking through my valley But yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I, I feel no evil. Anybody in this room say God is a way maker. Anybody can testify that God is a heavy load carrier. Well, do me a favor, but I'm going to move on from here. I want you to find a neighbor and just tell your neighbor right here. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor he'll take them all away.
God got me stuck. I don't know what's on your mind tonight. But God says, if you cast your cares upon the Lord, He said, I care for you. Whatever you came in this room with tonight, God says, give it to me. I want to take your burden away. want to call y'all on mind, say, all the way. I seen him do it. I seen God do it before he will. Times I needed him the most. He stepped right in. Came to my rescue. Anybody know what I'm singing about tonight? Somebody just give God a wave off and say, all the way. By my burdens, take my burdens. Oh, yeah, we gotta move. Come on, let's lift it up one more time. Help me call my name tonight as I get out of here. Lift your voice and shout right here. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Earl Bynum. You're on stage with Earl Bynum right here, live at the Mount. Right now, we're backstage right here, and I have the one and only, the quartet man himself, 
Maurice Jansen. What's up, man? What's up, my guy? Good to be here, man. How you feeling tonight? Man, I'm good. Look at you. You're clean, dude. Well, I knew I was coming to be with my brother tonight, so I had to make sure I was together. Well, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here, man. Yes, sir. So if somebody was to walk in a room and they ask the question, who is Maurice Yancey? What would be your response? I am a servant of God who loves God, who loves the people of God, and is doing my best to fulfill my kingdom assignment while I'm on earth. All right, I hear you. Now, tell us about your journey. How has it been, and how did you start? Well, I've been singing since I was probably around the age of five. I've been right. doing it all my life. Quartet, man, is in my heart. Gospel is in my heart, uh, but I love the style of of quartet music, but it wasn't until I was in a dark place um, that I got really revealed my purpose and uh, the plan that they had for me in this lane. Yeah. And so uh, around about 2008, I went uh, all the way forward. I just said, you know what, I'm going to set out to do it, and, and here we are. So how did you come up with the name One Accord? Well, as you, uh, well, I come up with the name, trying to keep everything biblical, <laughs> trying to, you know, stay, stay centered, man. And I knew that if we were to be unified as a ministry, as a group, uh, everything else would be okay, keeping God at the center and ahead of it. Okay. And so One Accord just... So through your thought process, how did you choose who would be a part of your team? Um, I started out alone with a track singing quartet music, which is so different, but I had some friends of mine that would play with me occasionally. And one day they just said, man, why don't we do something with this? And so that's kind of how it started. They were all members of different groups. Okay. But as we continued to go out and, and uh, minister, they enjoyed what we did, and one day just said, look, let's just go with this. Wow. Yeah. Now, what are some of the places that, that y'all have been? Because you've been all over the world, oh, but man. some of the most <laughs> enjoyable places you've been. Um, one memorable one that is dear to me, who's currently now my bishop, Bishop Marvin L. Winans. We had the honor to be a part of his convocation okay. uh, about five, six years ago, man. It was an incredible time. Uh, just... Wherever the Lord has sent us, man, it's, it's, all, it's been good. It's wow. been a great time. Now, have you ever been in a situation where you're the only quartet and it's choirs or it's groups? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I tend to like those because it's less, if I'll be honest, competition. Okay. You know, sometime in our our setting, you know, we're trying to see who's going to get the hardest, which is nothing wrong with that. Right, right. And good fun. But uh, when we are kind of alone with the only style that do what we do, it makes it different. Okay. But yeah, okay. yeah. So what's next for Maurice Chance? Uh, we get ready to release some brand new music, a uh, song we've been doing for some time now, entitled All The Way, and I'm super, super excited about that. I got an exciting feature who's going to be a part of it. I can't share it just yet, but it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Uh, he might let us hear. He might let us hear. <laughs> now listen, how can people follow you, your music? How are we going to do this? Uh, Instagram, uh, Maurice J. Yancey. Facebook, Maurice Yancey. Uh, we're on iTunes, YouTube, Google Play, all the social media outlets. Uh, but that's where we are. All right. You're right here on stage with Earl Bite. I'm live at the mouth, but we're backstage. about what tomorrow brings I'm safe in his arms I'm safe in his arms I'm not afraid of what Satan may throw my way I'm safe in his arms I'm safe in his arms come on and say If I keep my Right. 
life against me In this I'll be confident I'm safe in his arms I'm safe in his arms He is my refuge My fortress, my God I'm safe in his arms I'm safe in his arms Yes, sir. 